Okay, I, I mentioned in the last video about fine motor skills and holding it and you're going to do some cutting out now so you can do some cutting out to cut these your dolphin out and also we noticed no, it's a star. okay thank you and so I we noticed that when you wrote this letter D here we should start at the middle go round up and down we so can... we it's how you write it is really important and we can use that one for the dolphin yeah and we can this is a pen and you can find these books. Look, there's lots of these types of books that you can practice for reading and writing. You know, I've got the, I've got these books. We use these, these cards. Yeah, keep, sorry, practice this. And they can show them how, where to start, how to do it. And then you can also get sheets of paper like this. And so they can just practice it. This doesn't show you where to um, start, but they've learnt already and then they're practicing. So it's just scaffolding them so they can gradually make it gets more difficult. And then, then they have to do it on their own. I've noticed that reading and writing in lowercase seems to be more difficult. Um, because I um, we've been looking at number plates or cars. And they tend to be capital letters and street signs. So it's important to practice, you know, yeah, uppercase and lowercase. Okay. And so, like I said, also their fine motor skills. So cutting out, using the pens, painting, anything that will help holding, holding objects and developing that skill. That's great writing. Well done. Um.